Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm sitting here enjoying a nice moment of peace and quiet. Don't get a whole lot of those these days anymore. But I wanted to make a video about fatherhood and I thought a, a few ways I could make this video. One was I would wax poetic about fatherhood and the duty of a father as it pertains to protection, provision, preparedness, the three Ps, that's not the three Ps, but those were all keywords. And then I was like, I don't know, that's not really what I do necessarily. And then I was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll make a Father's Day gear video, like a Father's Day gift gear guide. But I already make the perfect gift guide every Christmas. So I, I don't, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to make too many of those. I'll probably throw some gear recommendations at the end of this video, just because it's what people want to see. But if you're curious, I do a gift recommendation for very applicable to, to fathers every single year for Christmas. And we're gonna talk about some gear and stuff uh, and some things that you can get. One is the, the sponsor of this video, Onyx Off-Road. So I think being an adventurous dad is the best dad you can be. Give your, give your child some adventure. Uh, and if you want, if you're the guy that has everything, but you like to off-road and stuff and people are trying to get you something for Father's Day, you can get a membership to Onyx Off-Road. I have a coupon code, I think it's LLUD20, and it'll save you 20% off of your membership. It's an app, you can download it on your phone. You can find trails near you, you can find out how hard the trails are, when they're open. It's, it's a, a massively helpful tool to help plan trips and, and find places to take your family that's just out in nature, ideally not at a campground, just out if, if you're in a state that has good public land like Colorado does. And just use that app. You use it on your phone, use it on your, your tablet, use it on your desktop. It all syncs together. You can plan a route for the future. You can say, hey, in two weeks, I'm gonna do this. And you can start building your route just through the app or through through the website. And it's a really, really good tool and be a great gift for, for the guy that has everything. So I'll link it down below and you can go to llod.us slash onyx, easy to remember at any time. And that'll direct you to, to get set up. So thanks Onyx, uh, partner of the channel for, for a while now and continuing to do, do good work with them. You'll see a lot more of them on the channel. But yeah, fatherhood my birthday today. It's my first year as a father as well. I'm here in, in my, my, I'm technically sitting in the kitchen, so it's probably pretty echoey. But first year in the new house, on the future homestead with a little five month old baby boy, Cooper. Uh, and technically, a lot, some of my commenters hate this term, but I have a stepdaughter. People wish I called her my bonus daughter, I guess. But anyway, we both, we both like the term <laughs> stepdaughter, but Ashley had a kid, so I have, a, I have a stepdaughter, love her to death, treat her as my own daughter, obviously. Uh, but she's a 12 year old, so I've, I've kind of been a dad in a sense for, for a number of years. Ashley and I have been together for five or six years, I guess, at this point. Uh, but my first, my first Father's Day as, as a father to my own flesh and blood, I guess we'll call it. So it got me thinking about a lot of things that I've kind of been into for a long time, but it kind of gets bumped up a notch because when I think of a dad or a husband, or you know, if you're not, if you're not a dad or you're not a husband, maybe your boyfriend, maybe you're a single guy, I don't know. But it, it becomes more and more relevant the more people you kind of have under what I'll call under your care, I guess. I, I believe a man should provide for and protect his family. And that brings a whole lot of stress. And I think dads just don't get the credit they deserve, especially present, loving, caring, prepared dads. They, they take the burden of the whole world on their shoulders and they just grin and bear it and get no 
no real gratitude. I was, I was watching a little clip of some, someone on the internet talking about how Father's Day was like the 32nd most celebrated holiday and Mother's Day was like the fourth or something. Those numbers aren't what was in the video, but something like that. So moms love, love and appreciate all mom. I love my mom. I love Ashley, the mother of my son. Every mom out there is amazing, but I think they get a lot of credit already and dads just, dads just don't. So just make sure, make sure to give your dad some, some extra love today. Uh, you know, if he was a good, if he was a good dad anyway, I know some people's dads went off to the gas station when they were real young and never came back. And I apologize to those people that didn't, didn't experience a great fatherhood. But if you're interested in being a dad or if you are a dad, I'm not a, I'm not a dad veteran. I'm not going to act like I know so much about being a father. I, I, I don't, I'm just barely a father, but I know some things about being a good guy. So it's more of a reminder video, I guess, to all the dads out there that are struggling through life that are, you know, maybe having a hard time. Maybe they're feeling underappreciated. I appreciate you because you're, you're doing a lot of work. And I want to encourage you to, to kind of do a few things. One, provide. I think you should provide for your family. I think you should you should try your hardest to create a good life, a good environment for growth and education and you know, teaching your kids and, and being a good example and, and trying to push them into, into a life that isn't worthless, a worthwhile life. So providing is more than just financial. I think you, you provide an environment for them. And that's kind of what I'm working, working at in this in this property I'm building and just kind of the life I'm trying to build here. And then protect. Protection is obviously a, a major one. I think moms should protect as well, but it's dad's responsibility. The bump of the night, dad, grab your AR-15 and go to work uh, and get, get training to do that kind of stuff and have the tools, have the gear. You know, I'm kind of a gear channel, so I do believe in having the gear relevant, get your concealed carry permit, go take that training course that, that you should have taken. There's a lot of great trainers out there. If I remember, maybe I'll, I'll link some down below. Get educated, go to the range more, get familiar with, with your gear, know how to use medical equipment, have the medical equipment on hand. So providing and protecting is huge. Get a good concealed carry holster. I'm doing a Father's Day sale at LLOD.us. We'll make the code fatherhood. And because I'm so amped on, on dadness, we'll do a 15% off of everything on the website. So father, fatherhood at LLD.us. But get the proper gear, get the proper training, get, get the proper EDC dialed, get your prepared daily driver dialed. All these things I think are very crucial to, to everyone, man and woman alike, but especially paramount. For, for a dad. And then other ones, I think there's a lot of a lot of emphasis put on providing and protecting as there should be, but uh, also this is maybe a little more, I don't know, not necessarily in the spiritual end, but it is a, a husband's job to be the spiritual leader of the family. And if you're into that stuff, awesome. Be a leader, get your family out. I mean, I'm, I've, been, I've been slacking on this myself. So I'm, I'm guilty as everyone else for, for falling, falling short sometimes, but be a leader, uh, be a spiritual leader, whether that's getting the family out of bed Sunday morning and getting them to church, or it's just, again, like I was kind of talking about earlier, being a good example for them to follow in your footsteps, to clean up after yourself, to not call in sick to work, to watch your mouth, to be a, a positive influence, to not talk crap about other people or look down on things, to figure out things and find solutions to problems, to just be a leader. There's a, leader is a very broad topic as is provider and protector, but I, I think leadership is, is one of the main things that we're kind of men are lacking. It's easy for a lot of guys to say like, oh yeah, I got my AR-15 in the truck and I got my Glock 19 on my body. I'm a protector and I pay the bills and I'm a provider. But I really think you should do more. I think you should lead as well. And then I think teaching kind of goes hand in hand with, with leadership, but I think a really present, a present dad who is able to teach their child everything, 
how to control their temper, how to fix a car, how to grow some food, how to be more self-sufficient, teaching, teaching again, another hugely, massively broad topic that can apply to so many things. But I think a lot of guys don't, don't want to teach or don't think they can teach, but everyone has something to teach and everyone has something that they can learn and then teach their, their children or their family. So I think it's super crucial to do all of those things. I mean, it's crucial to do a lot of other things, but I was, I was just kind of thinking here just right before I, I started filming this video and I was like, what's like, what makes a good dad? Cause I've been thinking about that a lot lately, obviously with a new son and wanting to raise him right and thinking of how the world is now and how the world's always been. It's nothing new. It seems bad right now, but it's been bad many times in history. But raising a kid, trying to do it right, man, it's a lot. It's a lot on, on your shoulders. But luckily I have, you know, Ashley, my wife, a great woman to, to share some of that raising a child burden with. But man, fatherhood is just the most, the most incredible adventure. Anyway, yeah, I don't really know where I was going with with this kind of that intro to the video. I don't know. I'm just thinking about dad stuff. On my first my first Father's Day, uh, and just kind of out here enjoying and appreciating this thing that I've I've been working real hard, uh, a life that I've been working real hard, not even necessarily for myself, but for, for my kids and my family. And it made me think about fatherhood. But as I said earlier, I don't know, let's talk about some good gear. All right, before we get into some gear, here's a little Cooper. Little Cooper man. Hey, buddy. Hi. <gasps> you want some? You want some of that? <laughs> All right, but I grabbed some random gear here that personally, I kind of feel like I can never have enough of, like tools, knives, lights, those kinds of things. So like I mentioned earlier, doing a sale, fatherhood, 15% off of everything on LLOD.us. Do have a, my flannel collaboration with Vertex. This comes in a few awesome colors. I know it's summer, guys. I know a lot of you guys live in hot places and flannel doesn't really make sense, but could have them pick you up one because it may sell out before fall. I'm not sure. Probably they'll get restocked eventually. Uh, we'll just go down the line. I like to drink a lot of water. This is actually a, an Arc'teryx employee gave me this one, but the OTF lid is good. People ask a lot of times when they see various things wrapped in multicam. You can get multicam vinyl sheets and then I just wrap a lot of this stuff myself. It's kind of, I don't know, that's a good gift. Kind of fun though. Multicam black. This is 50% scale. Wrapped a little MacBook in. Sunglasses now. So these are some of my favorite sunglasses from Magpul. These are the Explorers. They come in black with various lenses, polarized or non, or the color I like tortoise shell, which kind of is a camo. Ashley seems to think these are women's color sunglasses, but most people agree they're good for men as well. You get LLD swag also on sale, 15% off. Little cases are cool. Pelican makes a lot of these little smaller cases, which are good for electronics and whatnot, or just storing miscellaneous gear. You guys know how I feel about the Leatherman Skeletool or the Signal. This is also a great one. I'll link to all this stuff down below. I actually picked up a pocket clip. Apparently the Leatherman P4s and P2s come with pocket clips now, but I got like an early run sample of the P4 and mine didn't have one. So I bought one online. I guess customer service will send you them for free as well. So I have a free one coming from customer service, but I really like this tool. I'm carrying it now to, to see, to see. I'm really trying to get something to dethrone the skull tool. Uh, flashlights, I still like the Olight Warrior Mini. This is the OG. I like a little more because it's a little smaller than the Warrior Mini 2. 
And then Surefires and Streamlights are always good. This is the EDC L2T. Sorry about the focus, having some problems here. Also the Stiletto, this is the Stiletto Pro, but the regular Stiletto is awesome as well. Surefire Light. Benchmades are always good. This is kind of a aluminum scale with a glass breaker variant. And this is actually a gift from Gerber recently. I really like this knife. You've probably seen me talk about it in the past. Focus is just focusing on everything that I don't want it to focus on for some reason. But this is from Gerber's custom shop. I'll link it down below. I do have an affiliate link with Gerber, so if you're looking for anything from them, LLD.us slash Gerber, but you can get logos. This one says Cooper on it. So you can get like customize the colors of the, some of the components. It depends on the knife or the tool, but their custom shop, pretty cool. And I really love the fastball, American made knife, S30V, cool shape, not assisted, but it really has a commanding opening. Did a video recently on some fixed blades. This is a lion's steel that I really like with just a sheath I made. UAG, they need a cool tactical looking phone case. This one's got mag, mag safe. They make them for all kinds of stuff as well. And then I can just drop my phone off a, off a bridge and not really worry about it. And some books are always good. These are two, I haven't read either of them to be totally honest with you because I'm not even sure if the Warrior Poet one is out yet. I'll have to look, but John just sent this out to me. And I like John, and this is Mike Glover's book, Prepared. These are two fathers uh, who are kind of similar mindset to me. Both of them probably cooler guys than I am, but both of them all about that homestead self-sufficiency life, raising good children, uh, and I'm confident that both of these books are, are awesome. So, book for your dad or for yourself, not a bad option. Cooper's trying to talk to us too. Anyway, I'll just wrap up this random video there. I know it was a weird one, but hope you enjoyed it. Ah, I just wanted to get one out real quick before Father's Day since this is my first Father's Day. And I'll link to all this stuff down below again and chime in with, with your fatherhood advice down below. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Take care.